my chaos. Strong at times of weakness, I am beautiful the way I am. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Last month, I visited Italy as a tourist and had the chance to see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Have you ever wondered how such a huge tall tower ended up leaning on one side? Well, this World Heritage Site built in the 12th century is actually the reason of human errors. While the building construction was still in progress, this tall tower's foundation began to sink in the soft, marshy clay soil, causing it to lean one side. Construction was stopped for a hundred years. Later, when it was resumed, they built one side of the tower taller, assuming that the leaning would stop. But it led the tower to lean further. What a wonder. Is this tower perfect? Well, today it is one of the tourist places which attracts a large number of tourists like me. This reminds me of the idea that there is so much beauty in imperfections. It also reminds me of the words Wabi Sabi. Some of you may be familiar with this Japanese phrase which does not directly translate to English. It simply means to find beauty in imperfections. To understand that all things will grow old and become less beautiful with time. The very famous Japanese tea culture followed by the Zen masters used this concept of wabi sabi. Tea is served in imperfect, archaic, antique teacups and the guests are only delighted to have tea in them. Things which take time, which grow old, have their own beauty. You'll find I'm wearing a ring on my left hand, which is really precious to me. The stones on this ring have become dull and the gold has lost its polish. But I wouldn't part with it, with anything else in the world, for it was loaned by my grandmother, later worn by my mother, and passed on to me on the day of my wedding. Needless to say that I feel blessed having it on my body. The idea of beauty and imperfections is also true for human relationships. My friend Shanti was always ridiculed in school because she used to stammer when she was speaking. She had a real kind heart and was my best friend. Today, she is my go-to person, stammer and all. We see that children are growing up with insane images of perfection. Their idea of beauty, influenced by the media, is to be fair, tall and skinny, to the extent that some of them resort to starving and even throwing out their food. I had a personal experience where my niece was admitted to the hospital and had to be given intravenous to support and give her strength as she had resorted to such means. People spend so much time trying to be physically attractive that they want to be perfect human beings. They forget the true meaning of being attractive. Every thing from a crooked smile. Do you remember Madhubala, the yesteryear's heroine? From a crooked smile to a stutter in a speech or being emotional, sensitive, having sentiments, these are the aspects that make people unique. These are those that make them attractive. 
whether it is the leaning tower of Pisa or human relationships or the Japanese antique clocks, I feel a little bit of imperfection only adds to their appeal. So let us be a little imperfect, weird, magical and beautiful. Let us be perfectly imperfect. Let us know that having imperfections there is room for improvement. Let us be flossom and awesome. Let us be us. The world will adjust. <laughs>